Tomorrow marks a new adventure for Muskegon Heights. The Glendale School, which has been closed for nearly a decade, is being demolished, making way for 20 new single family homes. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu has the details. This urban housing development is a partnership between Muskegon Heights city leaders and the Michigan Land Bank. Details of the project were announced in late October of 2018, saying it would improve property values around the area and hopefully draw more people in. I hope they turn it to something. Out with the old, in with the new. The demolition of Muskegon Heights' former Glendale School will start Monday morning. The institution has been closed for almost a decade and will be replaced by 20 new single-family homes. They're designed to fit a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home up to 1,400 square feet on a 50 by 100 lot. Monday's teardown is just phase one of the housing plan, with the second and third calling for residential projects at the former Lindbergh School and former Dr. Martin Luther King School. It will immediately improve the property values around the area. In 2018, former Muskegon Heights City Manager Jake Eckham explained the project, saying there aren't enough quality housing options, and the community agreed. We have a lot of our young people that's going away for college and they never, they never come back home because they can't find what they're looking for in, in housing. Eckholm adding that ideally the plan would result in between 120 and 150 new housing units total, making the way for first-time home buyers, young families, and... In addition to that, we would like to target folks that have left the city of Muskegon Heights over the uh, course of years. City leaders estimate the 20 Phase 1 homes to cost around $80,000. In Muskegon Heights, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.